So I was asked to talk about some of my favorite books, and I think as an English teacher, it's really hard for me to make that singular decision. So I pulled a few things that I thought were great. One of my absolute favorites is Their Eyes Are Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. My favorite books growing up were Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Danny, Champion of the World, all written by Roald Dahl. The best, read them 15 to 20 times each. This is uh, one of my favorite books I've read recently. It's historical fiction based on a true story. It's very captivating, a page turner, and this is what I'd recommend. A favorite of my students and also one to teach is Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. My favorite instrument is the flute. Uh, I've been playing it for 25 years and it's the instrument that I started out on when I was in the sixth grade. My favorite book is Brian's Winter by Gary Paulson. It's an adventure, an exciting adventure about a boy who survives in the Canadian wilderness through a winter on his own. My name is Norman the Goldfish, and my favorite book is Gilbert Goldfish Wants a Pet. Alright, up until now, my favorite book to read aloud to kids was the book Wonder by R.J. Palacio, but I have to say, recently, I just read The Truth is Told by Mason Buttle, and I would say this is a contender to be my favorite book as well. And you can guess, it is also about kindness. There's a really wonderful collection of short stories and essays uh, in this new anthology called Black Enough about being young and African-American in the United States. My favorite book at school is Yoga Frog because it helps the students imitate their favorite yoga poses. My favorite book of all time is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Uh, I reread it every couple years, and it is as relevant today in 2019 as it was when it was first published. My favorite story is Grandfather's Journey because it tells a story of immigration and acceptance. My favorite book is Peter Pan by Jan Berry, also known as The Boy Who Would Not Grow Up. I wonder why. My favorite book is Lulu Walks the Dogs. I love to read this book to third grade because we enjoy laughing together. Today, boys and girls, we are going to read one of my favorite books by one of my favorite authors, Eric Carle. It's hard to think of a favorite book because I have so many, but if I had to pick one, it would be a book series, and probably a lot of the kids at Walden could tell you what that is, and it is the Harry Potter book series. My favorite book is Zoe Sheep. I don't know the author. It's a children's book. It's actually a board book, I think. Um, and the reason I love it is because it's quirky and funny and it made my kids laugh um, every time I read it to them, which was a zillion. My favorite book is The Little Witch by Anna Elizabeth Bennett. It is my favorite because it tells the tale of a little girl who goes beyond her circumstances to become a better person. My favorite book is Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert A. Heinlein. I'm a big fan of classic sci-fi literature and Heinlein taught me that sometimes it's good to look at our culture through the eyes of a stranger. Okay, this book, the kid hunts with a hawk. He lives on a mountain by himself and he makes acorn flower. It's amazing. What's the name of it? I should have been My Side of the Mountain! My favorite book is Persepolis. Um, it is the incredible story of a young Iranian girl who is navigating the Iranian Revolution as she's growing up. It's an incredibly sad, beautiful, and powerful story, and I think that everyone should read this graphic novel.
I also like the drums. My favorite book is A River Runs Through It by Norman McLean. A beautiful tale of a family in Montana that reminds me of my brothers and me, and it makes me cry. So my favorite book is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy because I find that his characters have so much depth to them that they seem relatable to modern day people. This is one of my favorite books to read to my students. I read it every day on the first day of school. It's called The Teacher from the Black Lagoon. It's an oldie but goodie. And why I love reading this book is because the teacher, Mrs. Green, is really green. My favorite book is Good Night iPad. When I came to Walden, I found this book. And of course, it made me think of the book Good Night Moon. But Good Night iPad, since I'm plugged in, everyone's plugged in, it's my favorite parody of a book. I always think knowing something about the world around us is great, so a global dictionary of culture is always a beautiful thing to have on hand. And everybody needs a good night story, and especially when we're talking about young rebels. One of my favorite books is Creating Magic, because that's what we do at Walden. 